Alright, so I just got into playing drums, and I was thinking about getting a new snare stand, since I like a really low stand. I'm only 5'4", like, so I can hit comfortably, and um, it kind of hit me that maybe instead of buying a new one, I could just cut this one down. Um, so hopefully this video will help out anyone on YouTube who's, you know, short like me and wants to get a little snare stand for themselves. Um, so, as you can see, it's kind of tall. This is a Ludwig Accent snare stand. It's pretty standard, I mean, nothing too great. And if you look at the size, this is on one of the lower settings. It stands at about, what, 26, 27 inches, so it's about 2 feet. Uh, not exactly the greatest for me. And, you know, you could drop down a little here. I'm going to try and do this without blowing the whole thing up. I mean, you could drop it down, but, you know, it gets really unstable if you hit it, you know, it's, it's going to wobble around a bit. So, um, basically the tools I'm going to be using are another ruler to obviously tell you the stupid height of the thing. Um, you got just a basic power drill using a normal Phillips head, so we're good there. And then um, this little thing here, I got this at, um, I think, Home Depot or Lowe's. You can probably get it anywhere. And all this is is pretty much like a safety chainsaw, so you don't cut your finger, pretty much what happens is you put it on something and it'll go back and cut through whatever you're doing so we'll give this a try so first up, hopefully everyone really can see this, I'll put this right here so first thing we gotta do is we're gonna be taking the actual snare out of the whole stand so we're just gonna kinda pull straight out try and get out of there put that to the side for now and what we're going to be working on starting is right there just kind of unscrewing it so we'll get that off I mean you don't need a power drill or whatever this is obviously way too big for this but you now I'm just going to unscrew it and pull this straight out uh, you obviously don't want to lose anything otherwise it's probably going to get pretty bad so all you're pretty much going to do is you're going to take this and saw it down as little as you can with this, and so pretty much all you do is you're gonna put it up to it, and you're just gonna push. And what's gonna happen is you know this saw's gonna come out and start sawing through it. So, um, you know, just to be safe, this is my first time doing it. I've never tried it before. I'll cut off about an inch, maybe two inches, and then that'll probably give me around the height that I'm looking for. So you know, I'll start doing this. I'll probably end up editing this because it'll be loud and annoying, just so you get the idea of what you're doing. So. Just kind of like that. I'm sure this is going to take a while because the last time I used this thing was on a lacrosse stick to cut that a little shorter, so just keep going with it. It's coming through okay, but. And like you see, it's kind of a slow, tedious process. All that's going to happen is you're going to scratch it a little and eventually I actually get deep enough to do something, so I'll just go ahead and do this now. Alright, so you know, I'm starting to wear it down a little, I and mean, it's getting scratched up. Hopefully this will work out alright. It's probably going to take me a while. So, I don't know how long I've been going. This probably like five or six minutes. Um, you can probably see it right about now. Um, finally broke through the metal, so, you know, halfway through, off good to go. working on it. I mean, you can see the hole now. You could probably use it as a flute, you know, this doesn't work out. Out of sweet snare stand flute. Um, I'll just keep on going at it. So, after about a million hours of sawing, looks like this and it's really thin you can just snap it off pretty much 
Um, so the final cut, um, it's not too clean really. I mean, it's really jagged. So if you want, um, you can take a Dremel tool um, and you know buff out the edges. But for now, I'm not really too concerned about that. So maybe I'll come back to that later. Um, so the first thing you're probably gonna want to do is put a hole in this so you can drill in the original screw that was keeping it from you know just sinking to the bottom. Uh, you know that's fairly easy to do. Just put a drill head in your power drill and you're good to go. Uh, I'll probably skip that for now too. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back together and see what it looks like. All right. Uh, well, the next step is gonna be cutting the top part of the snare stand where the snare is actually held. Um, for the bottom part, I took off about, I guess, an inch, maybe two inches. We'll say two inches. Um, it went down pretty low. I mean, there's still a bit that I could have cut more. Uh, if I had to do it again, I probably would have taken off three. Looks like it would be pretty good. So, uh, if you're trying this at home, go for three inches on the bottom part of the snare stand. Again, this is a Ludwig Accent snare stand, so if that helps you. Um, on the top part, I'm probably going to do about the same thing. And I'm going to have to make up for it later on the bottom probably, but uh, I'm going to go with three inches on the top part of the snare stand. So um, you pretty much know the process already. You take the little saw thing I, t I showed you and just kind of start sawing. Uh, it'll probably take you about 20 minutes to cut all the way through. And um, like I said, when you're done, you can use a Dremel tool. Uh, it's a pretty nifty thing. You just have to get the right attachment for it. And it'll, you know, buff it out. And if you get the right one, you can actually cut right through it. Unfortunately, I don't have that one. But, you know, works pretty good. Uh, I'm wearing some safety goggles because, you know, sometimes pieces of metal will fly up and hit you if you're using this thing. So, it's a good idea. Alright, so... Now that the top part of the snare stand is done, same thing. Kept pretty much straight through it. And the easy way to do it is, you know, just bend it off when you're done. Uh, this side came out a lot more clean cut. You know, it's thinner than the inside, so of course it looks better. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put it in, see how it looks. And, uh, yeah, it's a perfect fit. Tying that up. And uh, it looks pretty good, so I'll go ahead and try putting the snare back on. I'll put this back over here. take a look at it. Um, like I said, you're going to have to take more of the bottom. Definitely didn't cut it short enough. Uh, it's still a little wobbly, but I'm sure after I cut it off, it'll be fine. Um, but if you look at the snare, you know, it's a lot lower. I mean, big difference to get the ruler, the yardstick, and it's now down to about 22, 23, you know, inches. Not bad at all, so... You know, if you're looking to spend, you know, just an hour, maybe even less if you got the right equipment, you could, you know, drop your snare stand a bunch. Uh, see if I could put a before and after picture so you get an idea of how much was actually taken off. And uh, like I was saying, when you cut it, you're probably going to want to do about three inches. This is for uh, the top part. I did three inches. On the bottom, I did two before I really knew how much I needed to take off. So when you actually cut it, I'd say do three inches top and bottom part of the snare um it looks pretty good can't wait to play it um and like i was also saying i didn't touch it up yet but if you want to the dremel tool is the way to go uh just get the right attachment for it so i'm hoping this youtube video is helpful to anyone who wants to have a lower snare stand